Hi, my name is Dagmar, and in this series, I will be giving you the best tips on how to effectively work with the new Outlook for the web. Do you struggle putting your signature into every email you compose? I got you. The good news is you can create it and then it will be automatically put into every email you create. I will show you how to do this step by step. Let's get to it. When in your inbox, you're going to go to settings. We're going to stay in the tab mail and go to compose and reply. As you can see, I have no um, signatures created yet. So I'm just going to start uh, with this. If you already have some signatures created, you're going to use the button new signature and you're going to get new brand new uh, fields as I do right now, where you fill in your information. So first we're going to name the signature. I'm going to just basically use work. Um, and here in this field, I'm going to fill in my signature. Think for a second, um, what should be in the signature? What do you want to know about the sender? What would you like to know about yourself? Um, first, it is of course your name. Um, then you want to know what do they do, who they are, and why they reach out to you. So it's their position. Um, it's also good to include your contact information in order to give them some space to contact you some other way. So I put here my mobile number, phone number, and then also um, the website, which is linked. Um, so if someone clicks on it, they get, they get to the company's website. When it comes to logo, I would recommend to put it there too, not only because it looks better, but also um, some people, when they get tons of emails, they just skim them. They skim the messages real quick. And you want them to know who you are. And with the logo, it's much easier to see what your company do, like who they are. Um, so based on that, they can decide whether they will read the whole message or not. So I would indeed recommend to put the logo there. You can also use uh, the link to your website. So if they click on the logo, they can get to your website. Um, in addition to this, you can also put your social media profiles there, which could be maybe here somewhere. They can be also linked. So um, basically person who gets your email can click on it. They can see what do you do exactly, um, what are your values and, and etc. Um, you can also put the address of your shop, but this is completely up to you. You can put it there or not. I think this is the most important info that should always be there. When we have it ready, which I do, um, we are gonna click on save button. We have it saved now. What is important is to select the signature you want to use as default. If you don't select that as default, it will not fill in the, uh, the messages automatically. So we're going to do that right now with this. Um, I'm going to pick the work and also this is for new messages. And here for replies and forwards, I'm going to also put the work signature I, I've just created. Okay, when we have it done, it's basically, this is all of it. So simple, so um, easy to do and it takes only a few seconds. So if you picked um, or set it as default, you're gonna click the save button again, and then here you go. You have your signature ready and it will be automatically filled in every message you compose. And so this is how you create your signature in the new Outlook for the web. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also hit that little bell to get notified every time there's a new video with other Outlook tips. See you later.